Greetings, boys and gits. Long time no see. What's this you see? Dread Wargaming PC is finally here. So Dread is finally back. Here I come, baby. Let's get stuck in and build me a PC. I'm a complete computer noob and I started a YouTube channel where I do orc related Warhammer 40k conversions and I talk about the topic and it's basically a hobby channel. I've basically been doing the whole thing from a mobile phone which I'm actually recording this from now. It's not a bad mobile phone at all. It's just my whole community has grown. I've got a website, I've got groups that I manage it basically all become far too much for me to do from a mobile phone. Didn't have the, the money just to go out and buy a computer. It took me a lot of time and a lot of help from a lot of my channel supporters. A lot of the guys that actually watch my channel have donated towards actually helping me get this PC because they all know that this is the thing that's holding me back. Um, unfortunately, while I've been absent without having the PC and having my phone too full and my laptop broke so I had no means of transferring data and, and storing videos and stuff. I just gave up. I just, coronavirus, everything else, I just put my hands up. I was just like, nah, just, just take a break. And I'm in love as well. So I'm busy with that too. So, I mean, I've got good things that have distracted me, but I've just, I was put off doing my channel for a little while. A lot of my viewers have actually donated um, a few people regularly donate and it's because of those guys and because of saving for the last six months or more that I've managed to actually get hold of these PC components and it's taken me a little while to sort of pick them out and not knowing anything about computers I had to learn it all from scratch and I'm going to have to learn all the software side of it as well because so far I've just learned hardware and basically I think I know how to put this together but you're going to find out this is the fun part of this video because I don't know I've never done this before so let's have some fun so first of course is the Corsair Crystal Series 680X or something like that I am not a computer expert I told you this I haven't peeled off the uh, cellophane on the glass yet it's got a swinging door that opens up it comes with three RGB fans on the front and one standard one on the back but I've actually purchased a, an RGB one that's larger because that's a 120 mil that's in there and I'm going to replace it with a 140 mil one um, in the back there and it will match with the others then um, and this case also comes with in the side so basically like this side you can put your circuit board and your graphics card and all of that sort of stuff and then all the wires and the power supply and all the all the uh, drives and stuff all go on the other side in this side so there's another side right there um where all that's going to go and inside that side there's a like a module um i don't know what it's called it's a lighting node pro or something like that it's basically a, a thing to control all the, the lighting and the fans and stuff like that um so yeah that's that so it is an expensive case but then it comes with the fans and it comes with the um the clever system at the side with the, the built-in little circuit board thingy so it's quite good for the price really to be fair because once you buy one of the cheap ones and you add those things on you're like I might as well just buy the Corsair one anyway. So that's what I did. That was my choice. And because I found that Corsair are one of the most rated brands, I ended up buying a lot of Corsair stuff. So I actually bought a Corsair power supply. Now, the really cool thing about this, now there's, it is an, a 1,000 watt uh, I. So I think that means intelligent, maybe. It's modular, which means all of the... I'm lear I've learned all this new, by the way. I didn't know any of this stuff before, right? All these are separate, all the, uh, all the cables are all separate, right? So that's, that's modular. Um, I went for an 1,000 because I'm um, overkilling it. No, it's because uh, a lot of people were saying like 750 or 800. So I was like, well, 
get a thousand and I'm future proof, don't I? And it's a really decent one. It's a platinum. So it's a good a good high standard one. It should be pretty quiet and yeah. So that's that. Um, it also come with a bag full of wires. Like I think all the wires I should need for this build. I'm praying it's all the wires I need for this build. If I need anything else, it's not going to be working tonight. <laughs> so that's that. That's the power supply. I might try that out of the way. What? 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 Uh, right. So that's that. The oh, the motherboard I'm going for is an X570 motherboard. It's the X570 Plus Wi-Fi version by Asus. It's the Asus Tough. I think basically the tough stuff. It has to pass a bunch of tests. Of, prove that it's tough um yeah i mean i went for one without too much fancy jiggly pokey a lot of them have got loads of flashing lights and stuff this one's just got a really subtle bit just on the edge somewhere um it's a decent motherboard i suppose what have we got we've got uh four uh ram slots uh it's got the oh i'll tell you what look, i'll just read it on the back there look it's got uh da, 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 what else do 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 it's for amd by the way that's a x570 it's for amd uh processors which i've got um yeah it's good right that's what i'm thinking anyway <laughs> right um so like i say on that then we'll go a processor now i bought ryzen 9 um i haven't opened it yet it's uh i think it comes with a stock cooler uh but i've got a different cooler because stock coolers aren't the best uh it's all right i'll probably sell it uh, but Ryzen 9, um, one of the most expensive parts of the whole thing, but a decent processor for all of that video editing, power. Um, yeah, nice, right? And then the graphics card, like I told you, is the Asus Tough Gaming uh, GeForce RTX 2060. So it does have uh, ray tracing, but I don't suppose it's great. Uh, um it will do i mean I, my, my monitor the one that I, I use at the moment is 1080 right it's a cheap 1080 one this will do 1080 beautifully it will do 1440 quite well 4k it'll struggle with gaming that is um i think it'd be fine for 4k editing though video editing should be um we'll see how we go um other than that you need memory of course so we bought some ram um, we've got some Corsair Vengeance, two times 16 gigabytes. We've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and then you need actual memory memory. So I've got a, an NVMe uh, Samsung 970 Evo SSD. Uh, that's probably going to have the, well, it, but yeah, that's going to go on the motherboard itself. And that'll have the Windows and my editing software and stuff like that on it. And then on a hard drive uh, a SATA 2.5 um, one terabyte Samsung solid state SSD uh, I've got two of those actually and I've that's the only thing that I have opened and slid into the side there because I could see where they went it was really easy um, I'll show you shortly so I've put them in already that's where I'm going to store all my videos and files and everything else um, so it doesn't slow down the the programs and stuff so that's that's the idea there um showed you the extra fan already um then we've got the cooling solution for the processor so this bit here goes on the processor and it goes through a radiator that's on the back and these fans blow blow air through it and cool it off um it's liquid partly liquid and partly air it's Good brand again it's one that's highly recommended on most builds that i've seen so i was like yeah that's cool so that's going to go in the top it's going to sit up in the top here um so yeah that could be a bit of a fiddly thing to to do but yeah we'll see how we go um and last but not least a little accessory i've got myself a stream deck this is what's going to make um, doing um, interviews and switching between cameras and stuff like that really easy and make a computer once I've done all of the difficult stuff of determining what the buttons are going to be 
I'll be able to quickly do a lot of things. So they're like shortcut buttons, basically, for idiots. And they're, like, they're not for idiots, but this one is for an idiot that doesn't know much about computers. So it's just going to make life a lot easier for me. Um, I'll be able to make shortcuts for everything. So I'll probably, once I've got that set up, I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, what else to say before we get building? Oh yeah, obviously it's got some RGB lights, right? Everything seems to these days. Um, I wasn't mad keen on getting anything with lights, but seeing as it all has lights, I thought, well, Jeff, why not? Actually found out you can program it and you can have it how you want. So what I'm hoping to do is have some like, you know, red, gold, and yellow sort of effects. You know, that'd be really cool to go with the channel. So that's what I'm hoping. So without further ado, let's get building this PC thing. All right. Behold the motherboard in all its beauty. So, um, I have got to put these various bits and bobs on. I've got my processor. It's going to go on there. This memory is going to go under there, I believe. Check that out. And the, the RAM. So, <clears throat> okay so one goes here and one goes here I'm supposed to push them to here an audible click well well that was it okay that was the audible click and then let's see that's not going to close in, so it's not all the way down, is it? Ah, a bit further. Yeah, it closes itself down when it properly goes down. There we go, that's in. There we go, so you do have to push them a bit further. And then we've got two blanks. These two blanks are just to fill in the gaps and make it all look all neat and tidy. Um, so that one will go in there. Bit of a jet. Down. And this one. That's it. It's the ram in. Woohoo! There you go, I peeled the whole thing off. Come on. I guess it's just the film is supposed to be in there, not the whole sticker. The whole. There we go. Boom. Like that. I just don't understand why this has got this sticky shit on it. Seems a bit odd to me.
There we go. Ta da! Right. Now, processor. This is the difficult bit, I would say. Let's have a look at the manual. Try to make sure 100% I've got this right. So, is that up there? This is down here. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Right, so I've got the motherboard all sorted there. Next thing I'm going to do is put the thermal paste, which I've got some thermal grizzly. I'll put some thermal paste on there and then I've already attached inside of the uh, unit there I've attached the radiator and fans just assembled those there's the cooler that I've got to put onto the chip so I put that on I've also got this mesh that I've got to put on the top there I think this is magnetic the top is the bottom yeah Underneath. Oh, bugger, that must go underneath that. Ah. Turned out there's a couple of thumb screws here, so you can take the whole thing out. I didn't know that, so I've been fiddling around putting screws in that way. I could have slid this whole thing out to put it in. Anyway, that's in. So now it's a case of thermal grizzly paste and CPU cooler. Move that forward. Ta -da! So I've got the uh, circuit board in place. Um, I've got the cooler up above. I've put the cooler onto the onto the board. I, I spread the thermal paste thinly. Um, tried to get it across the whole of the of the processor. I think I did it right. I followed the instructions on the application of the of the tube, so it should be fine. Um, so now we've got a lot of wiring to do. But before I do all this awful wiring and trying to figure out what goes where i'm gonna stick the uh, graphics card in so that's my next job stick the graphics card in okay so there she is working so yeah some nice i just put them on red so you can actually see them because i did do red yellow green but the yellow comes out a bit white so you wouldn't have really seen it so well but yeah there she is and i've had to trim the cupboard above to fit it in so these units here have ended up coming down from the cupboard above. So yeah, there we are. And there's the stream deck, which I haven't set up yet, but I will do. So yeah, all goody gun drops. Very happy. Mm -hmm.